Welcome back, second graders. You're joining me for Eureka Module 4. So let's go ahead and check out what our objective is. Our objective today is we're going to relate addition using manipulatives to a written vertical method. What this means is that instead of doing addition horizontally, our numbers are going to be written vertically. They're going to be written up and down instead of sideways. So let's go ahead and see some examples. Now before we continue, there are things that you have to remember. The first thing is, is that 110 is equal to 10 littles. So one big equals 10 littles. We also need to remember that horizontal means side to side and vertical means up and down. Okay, so you're going to need some materials for this lesson. In order to learn this math, you've got to get your hands on some manipulatives. So let me show you what you need. You need a place value map where you have your tens and your ones. If you have a hundreds, tens, and ones, that's fine. You also need place value chips. And then you also need a whiteboard and a dry erase marker. Now, if you don't have your place value mat or your place value chips, just know that you can use your whiteboard and your marker and you can just draw it out. But sometimes it's easier to work when you have your things to move around. So let's go ahead and review some place value. I have a number right here, 157. What is 157 in unit form? This is something that we covered a while ago and we need to remember to keep this fresh. So unit form is when you break the number down and you say you have 100, five tens, seven ones. And then what if I asked you what expanded form is? Well, expanded form is 100 plus 50 plus seven. And then let's take that same number and what if I said how many ones are in 157? Well, ones are those little yellow things right there. So how many of those ones are in 157? If you said 157, you're right. You would need 157 of those little cubes to make that number. Okay, but how many tens are there in 157? What if I just had a lot of tens and I wanted to make 157? Well, remember, if I ask you the number in the tens place, it's five, but I'm asking you how many tens are in the whole number right here. Remember how you have 100 and that is equal to 10 tens? You would have 10 and five tens, so that's 15 tens, and then you would have some ones left over. So what digit is in the ones place? Well, if you look at the number 157, the seven is in the ones place. So you have the seven in the ones place, and how many more ones does the seven need to make a 10? So if I had a seven here and I wanted to make a 10, how many more ones would I need? If you remember our rainbow number, seven and what number equals 10? Or you can just count up seven, eight, nine, 10. So you would need three ones. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I have a story problem here and it said, Farmer Andino's chickens laid 47 brown eggs and 39 white eggs. How many eggs did they lay in all? Well, I know that I'm going to add those numbers just like that. 47 plus 39. When I look at 47 and 39, I don't see any friendly numbers. So if I look at those two numbers, which number would be the easiest one to make a friendly number? Well, I know that I have a nine here, so I know that I would just need one more to make that 39 a 40. So I'm gonna go ahead and break down this number right here, 47. And I know that 39 plus one more equals 40. So since I wanna make this a 40 because a 40 is a friendly number, well, I'm going to give that a one, just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and make 40. Now let's go ahead and look right here. I'm left with 46 because remember, I gave this one to the 39 to make it a friendly number. So 47 take away one is equal to 46. That's what I have left here. So my new number sentence is now 46 plus 40. Do you see I have those two numbers there? So now I can just add those numbers very easily in my head. I know that four tens plus four tens equals 80 and then six ones is 86 so there's my answer so something to think about remember we started off with 47 plus 39 that is the same as 46 plus 40 and then that is the same as 86 so i mean you can think of it both ways now if you can add this on your own go ahead and go for it but if you need to make some friendly numbers because this is nice and easy to add 
that is just one strategy. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on our lesson for today. Now I have this problem right here, 24 plus 15. I'm going to be using my tens and ones placemat to solve this. And you can see that 24 plus 15 is written horizontally. It's written sideways. We want to start writing things vertically, which means up and down. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. And let's go ahead and bring in the same numbers, but we're going to place them vertically, up and down. We're going to line them up. So I started off with 24 and now I need to add 15. There's 15. Now I want you to look at those. Do those look nice and straight? Are my ones together in a line? Are my tens together in a line? No, when we add, we do not add things like this. So let's get that 15 out of there and let me show you how to line it up. We line it up just like this. Do you see how now my ones are nice and even and straight? And then my tens are nice and even and straight? So once they're lined up, we're ready to add. So let's go ahead and add those numbers together. So I'm going to start with my first number, 24. And 24 is two tens and four ones. Now I have the number 15, and that is one ten and five ones. So now what I'm going to do is I always have to start with my ones. I have to add my ones together. So let's go ahead and see how many ones we have right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine of them, so I'm going to go ahead and put that right there. And then how many tens do I have? I have three tens, so I have 39. Okay, let's go ahead and try another problem. I have 26 plus 35. So let me go ahead and get my mat ready so we can get started. And I'm going to write them vertically again. Remember how we line them up nice and straight? Look at my ones and my tens. The 35 is not over here or over here. It's nice and straight. So we are ready to add. So the number 26 is made of two tens and six ones. Now let's look at 35. That is three tens and five ones. Okay, so the first thing I have to do is I have to add my ones together just like that. Now, the only thing that I have is that I have a 10 because look, when I put my numbers together, they equal 10. So what do I do when I have a 10? Remember, I always have to regroup. Okay, so now I'm looking at something called new groups below. And you might notice that I made a one that's blue. Well, the reason why is because when I had all of those ones here, I had 11 ones, and that was 10 and one. Well, I made my 10 and I have a one here. So when I added six plus five, that was 11. So when I have 11 ones, I could only put one in the ones place. What do I do with the other one? Well, we're going to go ahead and put it right here. And this is called new groups below. And the reason why it's called new groups below is because when we add, we're gonna put that 10 right here so that way we can remember to add it right here because sometimes when you're adding, you can't carry around your place value chips. You might have a piece of paper and a pen and you would have to do your new groups below. Now, you might have seen your older brothers and sisters. Sometimes they put the one on the top. We're going to do that later, but for now, let's go ahead and do it right here so that way we don't forget to add it. So now I have my two tens plus my three tens, and then I have my one ten that I added my new group below. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six. That is six tens. So 26 plus 35 equals 61. So your turn. Let's go ahead and try to work this out. What I want you to do is on your mat, I want you to make 25 plus 17. So go ahead and pause me and put two tens and five ones and then one ten plus seven ones. Okay, now that you've done that, let's see what it looks like. 25 is two tens plus five ones. 17 is one ten plus seven ones. 
So let's go ahead and we are going to add our ones right here. Now you can see that I have more than 10. So I'm going to go ahead and group them together just like that. And now you can see that I have a group of 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my new groups below and look what's happening. I am getting rid of my ones and I am regrouping. And remember, this 10 doesn't disappear. I put my 10 right there. So you can see five plus seven equals 12. It doesn't equal two because remember I had to regroup. So I had a 10 and two ones left over. So I had my two and then I have two plus one plus one more 10 and that equals four tens. Okay, so let's go ahead and try another one. I have 42 plus 39. So go ahead and put me on pause and I want you to build this on your place value mat. Okay, so let's go ahead and build the first number, 42. That's four tens and two ones. And then we have 39. That's three tens and nine ones. Wow, that's a lot of ones. Well, remember our first step is to always add the ones. We need to add those all together. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this one over just like that. So now that I have my group of 10 right here, what do I do with that group of 10? Well, I have to regroup it. So I'm going to have a 10 and a one. So let's see what that looks like. And there you go. This is the ten, this is my new 10 and then this is the one that's left over after I regrouped. So I put my one here and then I put my new 10 here, my new group below. And I did four plus three plus one. So I have four plus three more, seven plus one more is eight. So 42 plus 39 equals 81. Let me go ahead and walk you through a problem that you might have later on. Samantha brought grapes to school for a snack. She had 27 green grapes and 58 red grapes. How many grapes did she bring to school? Well, I have 27 plus 58. I'm going to go ahead and work my way through this problem. Now I have seven plus eight. If you need to use your place value chips to do that, go ahead and solve seven plus eight by itself right now. Remember, we always start with the ones. I know that a lot of you guys can add five plus two by heart, but we don't start with our tens. We always start with our ones. So seven plus eight. Okay, I know that seven plus seven is 14. And then I know that one more than that is 15. So I'm going to go ahead and write my number 15 here. And when I look at the number 15, I have my tens and my ones, just like that. I have one 10 and five ones. So my five is going to go in my ones place. And then we're going to use our new strategy today, new groups below, and we're going to put our one right here on the equal sign. Okay. And this is just a reminder that now I have this extra 10 right here. Okay, so now I have two plus five, that's seven. Now remember our new group below, seven and eight. So 27 plus 58 equals 85. So don't forget about your new groups below. We're going to be practicing that a lot today. So thank you so much for watching this video. And let's go ahead and take a look and see what your seesaw assignments are today. Okay, so for today in Seesaw, I thought it would be great if we did a review. I want you to build the number 802. Okay, I have 800s, zero tens, and two ones. So go ahead and build those numbers for me. Remember, you click and you drag and you bring them over just like that. So 802. And then the next number is 406. Remember, you click and drag. 426. I said 406. I apologize. It's 426. And then just like the last lesson where we had to build a number, well, here you could see I have 26 and I'm going to add four. I'm going to do this one for you and then I want you to do the next one on your own. So I'm going to go ahead and add four more. So one, two, three, and four. So that's all I have to do, but I'm not done. 
because I, this is what I want you guys to show me. If you have a group of 10, you need to circle that group of 10 just like that. And I want you to cross it off and I want you to show me that you're going to make a new 10. And then you don't have to draw your 10. What you're going to do is you're going to put your new 10 there and 26 plus four equals 30, just like that. But I want to see you guys trading 10 littles for a big. Okay, and then I have this problem right here, 54 plus 28. You can see I have 54. I want you to add 28. So go ahead and do this one on your own. Remember, circle your 10, bring it over, and that's it. So thanks for watching today, and we'll see you for lesson eight tomorrow. Bye.